Hello and welcome to another brand new episode of Z Studios. Today we will be looking at the basics of using curve and curve modifier for creating wall sweeps and arrays. We will also look at a method to create customizable wall sweep with multiple profiles. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so before we begin, let me bring in the wall sweep profiles that we are going to use. The profiles I am using are from cadblock.com, I will provide the link in the description. I have converted the file into DXF format because Blender does not support DWG. The file has been imported, but we cannot see it yet. For that, click on the name from the collection menu which selects the object in the viewport and now press period key on the numpad to zoom to the selected object. Here we go. We have so many nice profiles here. Let me separate these into individual curves. For that, all you have to do is go into the edit mode, select individual profiles and press P. Then click separate. This makes the profile a separate object. Do the same for all the profiles. Once we have all of them separated, select all right click and change origin to geometry now let's create a plane and scale it up to say 100 let's also scale down these profiles so that we get the proper proportion while sweeping once you are happy with the size of the wall sweep, select the plane and shift its origin to one of the corners. And now we have to bring any one of the profile to the origin of this curve. To do that, select the profile, press shift S and selection to cursor. Now convert the plane into a curve. As you can see, the profile is facing upwards and the direction of the face is really important in creating sweeps. Now let's go into the curves tab in the right hand side panel, scroll down to bevel and select object and with the eyedropper select one profile from viewport. That's it, you have your wall sweep ready. You can easily edit this sweep by editing the curve or changing the sweep profile. If you rotate the profile and apply rotation, the sweep direction changes as well. Ok now let's see another method of creating sweep which is not in fact a proper way to do it but there are times when this comes handy. Let's create a circle which is going to be our new profile. Extrude the circle to create a cylinder. Now apply the curve modifier to this cylinder and select the curve we have here. You can see that we have selected deform axis as Z and it is properly following the curve. Now let's increase the size of the cylinder. Let's try giving some loop cuts. Still not helping, so remove the loop cuts and increase the size further and you can see it changes direction now to understand what happened here let's go into the edit mode and decrease the length a bit ok now it's back to its previous orientation so to see what's actually happening here let's turn on modifier visibility in edit mode now when you move the end in z direction of the object you can see since it does not have enough loop cuts, it just slides along the curve, changing orientation. So how to get the desired result? For that, let's add 3 loop cuts which will divide the cylinder into 4 equal parts. You can see that it aligns randomly to different positions. What we have to do now is to align them properly to the vertices of the curve. For that, select each loop cut and move by pressing G and then 
Z. Since it's oriented in the Z axis and we have our sweep. The advantage of this method is we have our main object as a mesh which we can edit as we wish. When we apply the modifier, what we get is a really clean low poly sweep. We can add in extra loop cuts once we apply the modifier. And we can experiment with this as much as we want. So it's time to wrap up today's lesson. Hope you have enjoyed my tips until now. Do subscribe for more such content and until next time, this is Amit signing off from Zaid Studios. Have a nice day.